Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you ways to wear and style black straight leg jeans. I have finally managed to ditch my skinny jeans and I'm fully embracing the straight leg jeans. So I'm gonna share with you 10 ways that I'm gonna be wearing my jeans this autumn and fall. The first way I've tried my jeans is with a polka dot blouse. I absolutely love polka dots. It's pretty much an evergreen print that just seems to transition very easily from one season to the next. A black polka dot top in whatever shape or style works so well with black bottoms, again in whatever style. Skinny jeans, wide leg trousers, tailored trousers, culottes, or as part of a suit. It's a match made in heaven. So I've put my blouse together with some black straight leg jeans and with some different bags. I've tried it with a black structured bag and with a brown tote bag as well. And on my feet, I have some nude belly flats. I've tried layering the look a couple of different ways. The first way I've layered it is with a trench coat. I took my inspiration from this look here, which I loved how all this worked together. Now it looks like the model does have on some animal print shoes, which is a look that I'll certainly try. But I think I'd also like to try this look with maybe some nude loafers or possibly even some black loafers as well. I like the combination of this outfit with a white blazer, which can be adapted with whatever style of black trouser and polka dot top you have. So I've tried it with my straight leg jeans and I've tried it a few different ways. I've tried it with nude heels, which is a smarter look, and I've tried it with a black bag. And I've also put the same look together with nude flats. And another way I've tried it is the same outfit, but with a tan tote bag, which breaks up the black and white color combination a little bit. This is the blouse I'm wearing. It's from Lily Silk, who are very kindly sponsoring this video today. Now this is crepe de chine, and on the website it actually says it's wrinkle resistant, but it really takes a lot to make it crease. I've had this folded in a bag and unpacked and repacked again, and it's barely creased. It's in a very classic shape with breast pockets with a single flap. Now I have noticed on the website, there's one just like this sleeveless. So if you don't like sleeves or if Perhaps it's a little bit too hot to wear sleeves. It does come in a different shape as well, which I thought looked really nice. Now this is a size medium and it fits me perfectly. It's beautifully soft and it doesn't take much ironing at all. It looks great with black, but it will go nicely with blue jeans as well and a lighter blazer. Or another combination I liked was with a pink blazer. Not something I would have thought of to do but I think it works really well. A color combination that I love is black, white, and pink. So I've tried putting some black straight leg jeans with a white t-shirt and a pink cardigan. This cardigan comes from Marks and Spencers and I thought it's a really nice length. I've put it with nude ballerina shoes and I've put it together with, with my black Teddy Blake bag. This is the cardigan. It was £22.50 and I actually sized down on this because it does come up quite big. I thought the colour was lovely and it's lovely and soft as well. It's got some pockets at the bottom and it's a really good length too. Now the other way that I've tried this is with all black. Still with the same straight leg jeans and belly flats and the black bag. But this time I've put it with a black lace cami top. I always feel that if you add a little bit of lace, it just gives that little feminine twist to it and it makes you feel a little bit smarter. Now the little lace top that I'm wearing it with is also from Lily Silk and I'm actually wearing it now. I don't actually think it's meant to be reversible, but you can quite easily reverse it. It has this nice little V and it's got adjustable straps too. It's made from chamoose silk and it feels very soft and luxurious. And it's got a very subtle lace trim with adjustable straps. And as well as wearing it as an elegant top, it can double up as sleepwear as well. I do have a code for 15% off at Lily Silk. It's Gemma15. I'll leave that in the description box below for you as well as a link to their website so you can check out all the beautiful pieces they have. Now, another way I've tried this pink cardigan is with just a plain black t-shirt. I put it together with belly flats and trainers, but I do prefer them with the belly flats. And it's another alternative way that I can wear and style it. Another way I've paired the lace top is with the black straight leg jeans, but this time with a white blazer. I do love white and black together. I think it just looks so clean and crisp. I can wear this with different types of shoes, with flat shoes or with heels. And of course, I could reverse the top to wear it the non-lace side as well. 
I love black and camel in the autumn and the fall, such a classy, classic colour combination. So I've put this blazer, this blazer comes from Reese. I got this all last year, possibly the year before, with the black little lace top and the black straight leg jeans. Now you'll notice I've actually tried it with a different pair of shoes. These are from Marks and Spencers, they were £49.50. I'm not quite sure if I like these or not, they're slightly different for me, but I saw them and I, I thought I'd give them a try. I've also tried the same outfit with plain shoes as well that I've had on before. Sticking with pink, I've paired it with this pink trench coat. This is from Marks and Spencers also. This is actually a UK size six. I've sized down a couple of sizes because it does come up really big and I'm not really keen on the oversized trend for me. This was £69 and it does come in a couple of different colours. It also comes in a cream, which I also bought because I couldn't decide between the two colours. So I'll show you that as well. So I put this together with black jeans, black t-shirt and nude belly flats. I've also tried it with white trainers. These are by Supergra. They're the Kotu or Kotu classics with the slim sole and I've put that with the black bag. And I've also tried it together with the heels. There are so many other ways this coat can be worn. I'll try it with blue jeans and a white shirt and a white t-shirt. I'll put it together with black straight leg jeans and a cream or a white knit when it gets colder. And I'll also put it together with a gray knit and maybe a pink knit too. It will look lovely with a striped top also. And I think it'll look fabulous as part of a workwear outfit with grey trousers and a white shirt. There's lots of ways it can be worn. And this is the same coat in cream. I've paired it exactly the same way with black jeans and the black t-shirt again. And I've also tried it with some flat shoes and some heels. And I've also tried it with the loafers as well. This trench coat is cream and in an oversized shape rather than a classic beige trench coat shape. So there's other ways it can be worn. It'll look great with blue denim and with some colour like an orange knit or with a white sweater on top. I think it would look great like this also with a chambray shirt and white loafers. It'll look gorgeous with white, maybe with all white underneath and a black bag or with a black t-shirt and a tan bag, or in a color combination like this with black straight leg jeans and a white or a cream top underneath. When we start transitioning into the new seasons, in the UK anyway, the weather can be really quite changeable. So it's layers all the way really. And I love that layered look with a jumper wrapped around your shoulders. So I've paired my jeans with a black t-shirt, flat shoes and a cashmere knit and I've just casually thrown that around the shoulders. Of course, then I can just take the jumper off if it gets a little bit colder. I put that together with a tan tote bag. A tan tote bag has really become a wardrobe staple for me now. Mine comes from H&M, it's a few years old now, but there's lots of great ones out there. These are a few I found available in all different price ranges. There's one out there for everyone. It really is a bag that seems to go with everything. Another way I'll be wearing my jeans is with this beautiful cow neck halter neck top. This again is from Lily Silk. It's in a beautiful caramel colour and it has a gorgeous back too. This is a much dressier top, perhaps for an evening out, for dinner maybe in the evening. And I've paired it with a white blazer. The beauty of this top is that it can be worn tucked in or worn loose. It's a really nice length. So on me, it just sits on the hip bones. So it does give a, a nice bit of bottom coverage. I think this top would look beautiful with white. Something like this with some really gorgeous wide leg trousers and some gold strappy sandals and some gorgeous gold jewelry. A lovely summer holiday evening look. Here's a few other ways I'll be trying my straight leg jeans. They'll look terrific with a khaki coloured trench or coat, loafers and a white shirt, or with a patterned coat of some kind. Although this look is with blue jeans, the same look with black straight leg jeans would look fabulous. It just needs a gorgeous silk scarf and a blazer. They'll pair up well with a black biker jacket and a crossbody bag, and with a coloured biker jacket, a tan one like this will look lovely. Something like this would be great, maybe with white on the top, a white sweater, white coat, 
or all black with a coloured bag instead. This look would also work with black jeans and I could try this with my pink cardigan and I do like them with shirts so I'll give both of these a try. I don't think I've ditched my skinny jeans completely. I think I'll still wear them in the winter with knee-high boots, something like this look. I think they still work great like this, but I'll be wearing straight leg jeans more and more now. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on skinny jeans versus straight leg jeans. Are you still wearing skinny jeans and will you stick with them or are you going to be switching over to straight leg jeans as well? Do let me know in the comments box below. Bye for now.